Hey everyone, Danielle here. I'm doing an unboxing and building of a dice tower. This is a clear acrylic one that I will be building. And this is really not going to be um, anything too intense. It's actually going to be pretty tedious. Regardless, um, I hope you'll enjoy kind of this relaxing, I guess, video. All right. So I've built one of these before, and unfortunately, there was an accident where it basically cracked on impact, and so I was forced to buy a new one. Which is okay. Um, luckily, these aren't too expensive. And uh, in the past, it was. Um, I, I had more time. So I was able to get contact paper to decorate it a little bit. But in this case, I'm actually just going to build it clear. Um, and my old one. I also added some padding as well to each of the areas that the dice would roll down and so I am kind of just doing it um, in a basic way and uh, yeah these are all of the parts as you can see there are some um, protective uh, covers on them so obviously they don't appear to be clear but you would just peel them off. <laughs> and this is pretty much where the tediousness comes from because it's not always easy to get those edges and then uh, peeling all of them off um, one by one. So um, yeah, I, uh, I'm looking forward to, to using the dice tower again. Of course, um, I don't really use it as often as I would like, but maybe now I'll get back into using it more. I would be curious what your thoughts are um, when it comes to dice towers. Some people really don't like the idea of it, while other people like me, I, I, I like the consistency of it. Um, sometimes I wonder if maybe some of my rolls were like not actual random rolls. Maybe I didn't roll it as well as I could have kind of thing. And so for a true random roll, I do like to rely on something outside of my um, doing, which is just a dice tower that will allow the dice to hit multiple levels before um, it makes it down to the bottom. So yeah, let me know, are you pro Dice Tower or do you prefer to roll your dice by hand? I mean, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer, it's just a preference, I guess. Um, I think there could be some cases where people have a certain way of rolling um, that might make a certain number or the desired number to always come out. I don't know. Um, that could just be me and just being like worried about myself and other people thinking I'm doing that when I'm not intentionally rolling like sixes or ultimates and dice thrown like twice in a row in a row um but yeah I do use the dice tower in in, in dice thrown a lot for that specific reason and that probably has more to do with me than anybody else And if you guys don't use, well, I guess regardless if you use a dice tower or not to roll your dice, do you like to roll your dice in a dice tray? Or do you kind of just have it roll out on the board or the table and just hope that it doesn't roll off the table? Or do you, do you find that it never rolls off the table, so why would you need a dice tray? Um, I think for me, it's, it's definitely out of convenience that for the off chance it does happen to bounce off and roll off the table. 
um, it'll be contained in a dice tray. But I also find that sometimes dice trays are not the most convenient things to have around um, because then you have to make room for it. If, if there's, you know, limited table space, then you're kind of limited to um, where you can put your dice tray and it's not always the most convenient. It might not always make sense. You might have to cover parts of your board just to use it. So I use it when it's practical. Um, I mean, I, I usually try my best to lay things out so I can see all the boards. So um, if that's the case and it takes, takes up too much space, then yeah, I don't usually use the dice tray. And lately I've been kind of misplacing my dice trays. Like they're like just get scattered around my house. So I haven't really been using them too often, but I did do some spring, well not spring, it's fall right now. Fall cleaning, I guess. Um, so I did find two of my dice trays, which uh, I do plan to use. But with this dice, dice uh, tower, you actually don't need any um, dice tray because it has a little like a rectangle area that catches the dice as it rolls out. So not needed. Um, this is very tedious, but it'll be worth it because uh, I don't know. I like doing stuff like this sometimes. You don't really have to think too much. You just kind of just do it. And I guess that's why I'm able to talk as well. So, um, this past weekend we celebrated my birthday. And um, I don't know if anybody knows, I'm also a twin. So, we both celebrated at my house. We had friends over, some cake. We ended up just doing a simple uh, kind of uh, pizza party. So we ordered some Papa John's. Um, and uh, yeah, it was uh, really good. Simple, casual, and stress-free for the most part. So I think we're about halfway through. We have two bigger pieces here. Um... But anyway, uh, if you're a twin, let me know. Then we have something even more in common. Um, but yeah, we're we're kind of both into board games, although she's not as um, obsessed with it as me, and she's not into solo board gaming. She's actually more into TCGs, um, specifically Pokemon and Pokemon Collection, which is something I had done, um, I think, about a year ago, and. Uh, I don't know. It, it got a little too too much for me, and I think I I just prefer the playing board games more. So while I did dabble a little bit in the collection um, of random card games, I'm trying to stick to more of the board game side of things. And I mean, I am trying to still play Lorcana once I could get more cards out, but. Um, Still kind of waiting for more people to play, I guess, around me. Um, I used to also play a lot of games on webcam or TCGs, but I've been finding that I don't have the energy to really talk to people. So that's where solo board gaming is really a cool hobby for me because it doesn't require much talking i could go at my own pace i don't have to finish the 30 minute game in one night i could just kind of just like take a few turns and um finish it whenever i can and it's just like no pressure to finish a whole game like you would when you play with somebody but yeah, the webcam gaming is cool. Um, I think there's also controversy around it, especially when it comes to competitive, because of how easy I guess it is to cheat in the game. Um, personally, I don't know why people bother, <laughs> especially during webcam, because you know you can assume somebody's recording you at all times, 
And if they didn't see it during the live game, somebody would have seen it and then they'll look back at the recording and then there's literally evidence from your own camera that you, you did something unethical to try to win a game. So I never understood that aspect of it, but there's always going to be people like that who try to take advantage of the situation. Um, and that's why I don't really go competitive when it comes to TCGs. I actually prefer more casual games, but there really is not much of a player base for that type of game gameplay. Um, I found that the most casual group of people to play any sort of like TCG type game is Dice Masters and Star, Star Wars Destiny. Those are like the two TCG type games that I really find to be super welcoming, not super competitive. Like they have their competitive events and gatherings, but most of the time, even then, like they're super welcoming to um, players that just really don't want to be too competitive or they don't have the brains. Like for me, I, I, don't, I don't think it's that I don't want to be competitive. But I don't have the energy to compete with someone who's at that level, at least not right now. I mean, I'm a full-time working mom, have family obligations, um, you know, so love time fixing up, you know, the house, keeping it organized or refreshed, stuff like that. So I really don't have too much time to, to spend to learn to be competitive. And so, yeah, I kind of fell out of the TCGs a little bit. Um, I thought Digimon was a fun one. I'm not really into anime, though. I don't know if that matters to people who play TCGs and have those IPs. But for me, I don't connect on that level. It's all about the mechanics. So I, I mostly play because I, I feel like it's fun. Not so much like, oh, I know this Digimon from the the anime. Um, all right, kind of getting anxious here, almost almost there. Um, I don't think this actually came with instructions, so you can watch me figure this out myself. <laughs> I think I have an idea of where the pieces would go. It kind of seems a little uh, self-explanatory, but I might make... I have to make some adjustments if I do, do it wrong. Um, I'm about almost 15 minutes in, I guess. And so this is quite a process. You do have to, like, spend time to take the stickers off of this. And hopefully we are more careful and we won't drop this one. Um, I'm actually not sure what, how it broke so easily, although it was a pretty big fall. But... Yeah, um, appreciate you sticking your way, uh, <laughs> sticking out this entire time if you are. Um, I don't anticipate this video getting many views, um, at all, maybe just a handful, which is fine. Um, but yeah. And hopefully I'm not too awkward. Almost there. Okay, let me just throw this part out. All right. So we have all the pieces here, we just kind of orient them the right way. It's going to go something like this with the pieces kind of in between. So I think, should these go first? No, they shouldn't. Okay, so I think all of these are the same size. These will be the backs. So we'll put this here. is here. Yeah, that looks right. Just sliding them in. All 
This will go this way because it has to push the dice through. That's how that will go. And then one of these will go in the front and one of them will go in the back. They are the same size. Um, it looks like it will go like this. Uh, and then do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Alright, let me grab some dice and then we could... Uh, roll. Okay, so I have some of these mini dice. Let's see. You, I'm sure you'll be able to hear it. Um, there we go. And you just lift it and roll it in. Looks pretty cool. Let me try to sh show you a side view. That didn't work out. Probably because it should not be on the side, but yeah, looks good. Um, it works with just about dice of any size. Um, when I put cushions on these, it was uh, a little bit tinier, so I couldn't actually roll like D60s. Uh, yeah, D20s, I mean. Um, but yeah, this is my acrylic um, dice tower. It is not the most sturdy, but it will get the job done. Um, I'll, I'll probably end up just putting some rubber bands on the edges of these just to keep it together. Um, besides that, this is the finished product. Thanks for uh, watching this through if you were able to make it. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys around.